Hey, it's Ian at the Roastery, back with the story on two of the more special coffees that we bought from Peru this past harvest. The first one is from Chirinos, which is an area that's becoming increasingly famous for exquisite coffees, in large part due to the high altitudes that you find there. We've got coffee from a farm that we've bought from for three years now that is at 2,000 meters above sea level, which is very high. Typically, the highest coffees that you get in Latin America are around 2,000, maybe a little bit above that. Uh, this coffee is grown by Efrain Carhoyokio and Maria Flor Vasquez. They are a couple that have an organic farm in Chirinos. It's two and a half hectares. They grow red and yellow Katura there with their five kids. And every year, without exception, it's been one of my favorite coffees in Peru. We've been buying Efrain's best coffees since we first visited Centro Cafe, his cooperative, in 2014. I tasted a few dozen microlots that year and his was by far the best. So we bought a few bags of it. It was also the best in 2015, which was great because consistency year to year is really important for coffee relationships to work. I'd never met Efrain before the 2016 trip, and I was actually quite surprised to meet him at a ceremony where he was being awarded for his second placement in the 2016 Hyen Regional Coffee Competition. I knew they were going to be awarding some farmers, but I didn't know Efrain was going to be there, and my jaw dropped when they announced that the guy sitting a few feet away from me was Efrain Carpayokyo, a farmer whose name I had known for years, but at that point, I had never met. Here's a quick clip from that award ceremony. This year we decided to have a bit of fun with Efrain and Maria's coffee and present it as a single farm espresso. It's got a really great red apple butterscotch flavor that makes quite an interesting tasty espresso. It's got lots of body and because of the high altitude it's got a ton of acidity. So it's really intense, it'll wake you up early in the morning or any time of day for that matter and I like it quite a lot. You can also pop a bit of milk in your Efrain and Maria and that acidity will mostly fade away. It's still there a little bit to bring balance, uh, but mostly what you get is a nice butterscotch and marzipan flavor that comes through. So it's a very versatile espresso. Okay, so that's the story on Efrain and Maria for this year's harvest. This year we worked with Senfro Cafe to secure a bit more of their coffee than usual. We actually got three or four times what we were able to get in previous years. So this coffee should last a bit longer. In past years we had it for like two weeks or three weeks. This year it should be around through probably mid-June, so I hope you enjoy it while it lasts.